Hey there, it's Mr. Polarski again. I'm going to talk about triangle congruence by angle side angle and angle angle side. Both of these involve two angles and one side, but they are different. Angle angle side, you have two angles and a non-included side. non-included side meaning the side is not between the two angles the two vertices of the angles this side or this side could be congruent it doesn't matter and angle side angle notice where the s is it's in between the angles much like we had an included angle before now we have an included side The side is between the vertices, angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. The triangles on the bottom are congruent because of angle, side, angle. The triangles on the top are congruent because of angle, angle, side. Example two, we're given that angle A is congruent to angle B. These, of course, are our statements. And these will be our reasons. And so angle A is congruent to angle B. And segment AP is congruent to segment BP. And that's our given. Well, we're learning about angle, angle, side, and angle, side, angle. Uh, we have an angle and a side mark congruent. Uh, to use angle, angle, side, we'd have to be able to establish that angle X is congruent to angle Y, and I don't see a way to do that. We could also establish that the angle APX and angle BPY are vertical angles, which means they're congruent. Uh, they're vertical angles because they are formed by two intersecting lines. So we can establish that angle APX is congruent to angle BPY. And that is uh, vertical angles there. And now that we have those two angles marked congruent, we can justify the triangle APX is congruent to triangle BPY by angle side angle. Here we have a crazy diagram. We'll start off by writing our two column proof by putting statements and the given. The first statement is our given that angle ACAB is congruent to angle DAE. That angle CAB is congruent to angle DAE. That should be reasons. We're also told that segment AB is congruent to segment AE. And we're told that angle ABC angle AED not our AED are right angles
So what we need to do is we need to take a look at the triangles. We need to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle AED. In the triangles, we have one angle and a side congruent. We know that angle C, triangle ABC, or angle ABC and angle AED are right angles. So we can establish that they are congruent. They're not marked congruent yet. They're, we don't even have it written that they're congruent, so we need to do that. So we're going to establish that angle ABC is congruent to angle AED. And that's because of the right angle theorem that states all right angles are congruent. So we can go ahead and mark them congruent. Just uh, two marks, or you could just leave the 90 degree angle there knowing that they are congruent. And we have angle side angle in both of the triangles so we can establish or finish our proof by saying that ABC is congruent to triangle AED. And that is because of angle side angle. Another proof, lots of proofs in geometry. Given that segment NM is congruent to segment NP, and angle M is congruent to angle P, prove the triangle N ML is congruent to triangle NPO. So let's write our first statement, which is our given that segment NM is congruent to segment NP, and that angle M is congruent to angle P. We've already marked those on our diagram. Now we're studying angle, angle, side, and angle, side, angle. So what we have is a case of an angle and a side, an angle and a side of two triangles being congruent. Uh, we need to prove another angle is congruent. It's similar to a previous proof that we have two intersecting lines forming vertical angles. So we'll be able to say that angle L and M is congruent to angle O and P. And that's the vertical angles theorem. And as we've seen in previous proofs, we have two angles and the included side. So that is angle side angle. And that's enough to prove that triangle NML is congruent to triangle NPO. I certainly hope uh, this video has helped you understand and create proofs using side angle side. Uh, there's a second video with more examples, more proofs. So if you're interested, check that out.